Okay, dear students, uh, now we will continue doing the exercise with you on alternative questions. So can you remember where have we, start, uh, uh, where have we stopped in this exercise? So if I'm not mistaken, we were doing the exercise number two, yeah? Exercise number two. Have we finished it? Uh, yeah, we haven't finished exercise number two here. Uh, let's do it all together again. Uh, it takes, for example, there are six members uh, in Anne's family. Have they done this exercise or not? In the first part of our lesson, have they done it or not? Ozoda, exercise number two, make up alternative questions using the following sentences. We were no, doing, no. yeah, we, we have no. just started, yeah, we have just started, and because of bad internet connection, we have to stop it, doing the exercise, okay, now, again, we will continue the second part of this lesson, so this is, uh, this text is difficult, this text is easy, it is, we should form an alternative questions from these two sentences, is this text difficult or easy, yeah, she studies German, she studies English, does she study German or English? They go to the Crimea every year. Yeah, we uh, were doing this one, yeah? Uh, the, they go to the Crimea every year. They go to the Caucasus every year. Do they go to the Crimea or the Caucasus every year? Your family is big. Your family is small. Is your family big or small? Pay attention to the intonation, okay? There are five members in Anne's family. There are six members in Anne's family. Are there five or six members in Anne's family? You study at the institute. You study at the university. Do you study at the institute or at the university? She has passed your exam in English. She has passed your exam in history. Has she passed your exam in English or history? Yeah, uh, it takes Alan an hour to get to the institute. It takes Alan half an hour to get to the institute. Does it take Alan an hour or half an hour to get to the institute? Uh, Peter is a hardworking student. Peter is a lazy bones. Is Peter a hardworking or a lazy bone? Yeah, is Peter a hardworking student or a lazy bones? There is much milk at home. There is little milk at home. Is there, a, is there much or a little milk at home? There are many students in the room. There are few students in the room. Are there many or few students in the room? There are much snow in Moscow in winter. There is little snow in Moscow in winter. Is there much or little snow in Moscow in winter? Okay, and now uh, together with you, we will do exercise in number uh, three, yeah? Number three. In number three, what should we do? Pay attention to the task of the exercise, please. Uh, complete the following questions using the words in brackets. So, do you study at, uh, do you study at the Russian faculty? It is, we should form alternative questions using the words using the words in the brackets yeah clear to you so do you study mm -hmm. at the russian or at the english faculty do you study at the russian or at the english faculty so uh, let's continue uh also that you will do this exercise so i'm after i get ready you will continue okay the first uh, uh sentence also the also, that please do the first uh, example here. Mm -hmm. We are waiting for you, please. At the university calls last four years or last five years. Does the university calls last four years or five years? Four years or five years, like this. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Next one, please, Mafduna. Maftuna. 
It seems to me uh, she has bad internet connection. Sabohat, you will continue, please, as uh, number two, example number two. Is this timetable is, is this timetable time new or is old? Time yes. Old. Is this timetable new or old? or old? Okay, right. You are next one, please. Also, again, you. The next uh, number three. Uh huh. Also, that we are waiting for you. Do you do your homework at home or at the university? Try to be more active, please. Don't be so passive. And continue, please, also the next one, number four. Number four, do you have many mistakes in your test or few mistakes? Uh-huh. Okay, good. Continue, please. Uh-huh. Next one, next one, please. Is your institute named after Lamanasov or university? Uh huh. Okay. Next one. Next one. Please continue. Be more active. Was your university awarded to orders or three orders? Orders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Three orders. Also, the next one. Was your university awarded? To orders or to orders. Next, next sentence, also the number seven. Does your university train students of uh, day department or what? <laughs> evening department, yeah? Day department or evening department? Have you got a seminar in history today or in pedagogics? Have you got two lectures today? Have you got number two? Seven. Two lectures or two seminars today? Of... Yeah? Mm. Ah. Okay. Is uh, she better? Is she better or worse yes. today? Is she better or worse today? Does she study well? Does she or study does she or he study well? Yeah? Does she or he study well? Yeah. Uh, is an Elise is an or a Helen? A lazy bones. Yeah. Okay, next example, please. Also, again, you, number 13. Uh huh. Number 13. Is it visible to you? Also, then. Have you read about the system of education in Greece? Or have you read or have you heard about the system of education in Greece? Yeah? Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak or write Chinese? Can you speak or write Chinese? Yeah? Ask, uh, and now let's do exercise number four. Ask to repeat the following statements using alternative questions. So this text is difficult, but not easy. Sorry. Is this text difficult or easy? So we should do this example, we should do the, this exercise in this way. Also then, Aberdeen University is old, but not new. Sorry, is Aberdeen University old or new? In this way, you should do this exercise. Please, any volunteer to continue? Any volunteer? She studied German, but not English. Sorry, does she study German or English? Try to be more active, please. You are so passive. Next, next, next. Ozoda, continue. Number three. Gülruhsor. Gülruhsor. Uh, well, um... She has sisters, but not brothers. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, does she have sisters or brothers? Good. Right, you are. Continue, please. Again, you. Okay. Well, uh, he has got a seminar in the history, but not in pedagogy. Pedagogics. Pedagogics. Uh, well, Sorry, 
has 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 he got a seminar in history or pedagogics? Mm -hmm. 